Well, when I was a kid, I really, really loved animals. And uh, I thought what I would be doing is uh, going to some adventure in the jungle and study animals there. So I wanted to follow my great hero, Jane Goodall, and, um, and go and study chimps somewhere in Africa. But I discovered there is no opportunities to study chimps in my university. <laughs> so I ended up working on humans, which was kind of close enough because it's the closest relative. So that's how I got into biology. What was really fascinating me about humans is their life history and particularly women. Why do they stop having children halfway through their potential lifespan and have menopause? And um, that's really an evolutionary puzzle because no other species practically has that trait. There's two key questions there. Why do we live as long as we do and reproduce as long as we do? And then secondly, why is there such enormous variation between different individuals in how and uh, what age they do that. So to study these questions, what I needed was uh, to be able to know detailed life events of lots of individuals from birth to death. And to achieve that, what I started doing was going to church archives and building pedigrees of people and studying those records. What we discovered was that actually living beyond that menopause age was beneficial for women because the grandmothers, as it turns out, provide really key help in the family in, in raising those children. So if the grandmothers um, continue living for long enough time, they are actually more successful in passing on their genes to the next generation because that way they can assist the next generation to successfully raise their children. Getting the ERC award was really critical to actually build your own team so that you have a lot of talented people working together. Uh, we even go for a run together every week <laughs> to, to, to discuss our results. I'm actually a single parent of two little kids and I also breed dogs. Basically juggling the career in science, having kids, having dogs, it's, it's not very easy and um, I've very recently been able to move back from UK to Finland and, and it's been fantastic because now I'm more close to my mother and she's able to help me with raising kids and raising dogs <laughs> and, and being a scientist. I love being back home. I like having my family back together every weekend, seeing, seeing the extended family. I, I believe in humans actually living <laughs> in big social groups, so uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad I'm reunited with my group.